Hi, my name is Savannah and I'm the Senior Writing Consultant here at the Writing Center. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about comma splices. A comma splice is a sentence composed of two independent clauses connected by a comma. An independent clause is something that contains both a subject and a predicate. For example, Cheesecake is my favorite dessert. I ask for it every year on my birthday. Cheesecake is my favorite dessert is an independent clause because it consists of both the subject and the predicate. I ask for it every year on my birthday also contains both a subject and a predicate. For more information on clauses, check out our video all about clauses. There are three different ways independent clauses can be put next to each other. First, they can be separated by a period to indicate that they are two separate sentences. Or they can be connected by a semicolon. A semicolon indicates that two ideas are closely related to one another. The third way to join two independent clauses is to use a comma and coordinating conjunction. For our example sentence, a possible conjunction would be the word so preceded by a comma. So now the two independent clauses are put together and read chocolate cheesecake is very rich, so I do not eat it very often. When fixing a comma splice, be sure that what you're looking at is actually two independent clauses. A lot of times students confuse independent and dependent clauses because they don't necessarily look at both subject and predicate. Take this for example. Turtle cheesecake is made with caramel and pecan and is sometimes drizzled with chocolate. It may appear that this sentence needs a comma and conjunction to connect two independent clauses, but in reality, in some, is sometimes drizzled with chocolate is not an independent clause. It has a predicate, but it lacks a subject, therefore it is a dependent clause. In this case, you would either need only a conjunction type word or only a comma. You only use both or a semicolon or a period to connect two independent clauses. So now you know how to correct comma splices with either a period, a semicolon, or a comma and conjunction word. Be on the lookout for comma splices in your writing as they will make your papers stronger and you a better overall writer. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our social media, our other videos, and please come visit us in the Writing Center.